hippest. And it's already on the last 10 years. Go-go girls, miniskirts, teeny boppers, dropouts, sit-ins, off and pop happenings and freakouts. Mr. Nipsey Russell! <laughs> Mother Nature and Father Time just can't get together, it seems, because by the time we learn the game, we're too old to make the teens. <laughs> and for those of you who are pushing 40, or dragging it behind you, and you young people still in the throes of your academic pursuits, I say, continue your knowledge, go on into college, and stay there until you are through. If they can make penicillin out of moldy cheese, they can make something out of you. <laughs> that philosophy a good deal further when in 1964 I said that friendship and love is the key to universal benevolence. And I reiterate tonight, friendship to the whole world, to all the white people who are using mantan and copper tone in summer. <laughs> I want you to know that I am using a bleaching cream called Yellow Fellow. <laughs> if you are nice enough to cram down, The least I can do is try and meet you halfway. <laughs> no, I haven't forgotten civil rights. I'm just thinking about national defense. <laughs> See, on the top deck won't mean much if the ship sinks. <laughs> well, if you got no self-control, go ahead and applaud. <laughs> but actually, there have been a number of highly publicized marriages. They've been referred to in the journalistic estates as May and December marriages. A very famous judge proposed to a co-ed. At first, she said no, but he held her for further questioning. <laughs> and there was another highly notable marriage. I won't mention it. I won't joke about it. You know which one. I don't joke about that one, no, sir. The mafia is tougher than the NAACP. <laughs> and uh, it's kind of hard to sing we shall overcome with a mouthful of cement. <laughs> the geopolitical intrigue has intensified in these years. We've had allies, we've had enemies, and there have been neutrals. Neutrals are those people who don't know that atomic fallout can blow sideways. <laughs> but, uh, there has been a great deal of endless talk about this topless situation. Well, as far as this topless business is concerned, I look at it like this. <laughs> Another craze, a uh, uh, ghastly phenomenon that has made its appearance known in the last few years has been the discotheque. And to keep you up to date, I'm gonna call out the troops and we're gonna do a little skate. All right? I <laughs> want, I do, we do it up, we're gonna do it. Yeah. 